Ah, so this is one of my first examples of Juliet making a mistake. So she, bad. She's got all these bodies. Okay, she's right there next to the door. First off, why are you deciding to go into the body silo? Maybe it's the only <laughs> one open. <laughs> Maybe it's the only one that's open, right, right? Maybe it's the only one that's open. But there's this clear, like, using the bodies, this clear, like, slope down mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. the silo. But she decides to inverse pull up and then fall. Yep. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. She's gonna lower herself. Oh. That's high risk. High. What is she doing? Okay, wait, why is this high risk? Okay, so she's in a suit. Suit can okay. suits can rip. Yep. She and knows the suit, air is poisonous. Is, exactly. The suit is critical to her survival right now. She's yeah. got to be doing everything she can to make sure it doesn't tear. Uh, also, there's no real time constraint. I mean, there is a time constraint because she's probably running out of air. Yep. But it's not so time constrained that she can't take, I don't know, 30 seconds here and do a little more assessment. Mm -hmm. And either, I mean, I think maybe you just get on your butt and shimmy. Yeah, shimmy scoot down. your way down. Because uh, like, then your like legs a, are in like front a, of you if you... You know? Like a kid that's climbed to up on a high in a hill, like you sit down, you scoot your way down. Or like yep. snowboarders, when they are checking out, you sit down and scoot your way down. Scoot your way down. And she could do that right here. Yeah. And just step on the bodies. You've already stepped on a bunch of bodies to get in there. Right. And it's it's more critical to keep your suit intact and your oxygen supply clean than to not have some body grime on the outside of your suit. And heck, even that body grime, like these bodies are, they're not juicy anymore. Like they're, right. they're, they're totally dry. They're fine. Totally dry. Yeah. Plus look at this. There's like these little edges mm -hmm. and she's trying to do like a, a dip. I guess it's a yep, dip. Yep. A dip. Yep. And I mean, this could catch and you could just shimmy down. Heck, she could turn around and face the bodies and then go down backwards, like going down a ladder backwards. Yeah, that would be better too. Anything but this, really. I mean, why does she go go for broke and do it over here? That's right. Just drop. <laughs> she's trying to drop it right down. It's weird. It's weird because she did a bunch of adventuring when she, when she was a kid, right? And she did yep. more adventuring when she met her boyfriend in mm -hmm. season one. Yep. And so, yeah, yeah, I feel like she should be more experienced in this. Yeah, here's a good. There's a good shot. She decides to fall here. But there's sort of this nice slope you could get on your butt and just yeah. scoot on down. I guess for me, the most important thing would be gentle. Because gentle. what if she drops down and somebody's like broken all nerve, like stabs through her suit and then now the suit's yeah. broken and now she's bleeding. Like, yeah. Or even if the suit catches on something and you're going slowly, it's like, oh, let me, let me no uncatch problem. it. No problem. Unsnag, move. desnag. Versus yeah, no if problem. you have a sudden drop, it's going to rip. Torn. Now you're yeah. Ugh. not good at adventuring 